Good afternoon, evening, or night, everybody. My name is Dr. Oolong. I am your mad doctor of Blast On. The great gents over at Resolution Games um, have given us a tier list. Uh, pretty standard stuff here. I'm just going to go with exactly what they have. I'm going to be going off of the current meta of Blast On based off of my experience. All the opinions expressed in this video are, of course, my own. If you disagree with what I say, you're probably right. So. Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So in S tier, so these are weapons that I consider to be pretty much good on any build. Uh, and the first one's going to be the Snowball. Two second cooldown, 15 damage. That's half of a Viper Bullet. Really here, it's the demoralizing effect. They're going to be scared of you. And as soon as you pick up that Snowball again, they're going to continue to be scared of you. Which combos right into the next weapon I want to put up on the list. I refer to all these and probably will as elite, but they are Eclipse. Just know that I'm talking about that. I'm a mad doctor. I'm not a mad linguist. Viper uh, uh, clips the defining weapon in a lot of builds. And 30 damage a hit, you're talking larger clip. And it does have a hefty respawn time of 7 seconds. This is a weapon that is easily worth the 7 second reload time. Definitely going up in S tier. And the last one that I'm going to put is just normal shield. 4 second cooldown here. I have no idea how much health this takes up. You don't run at least one shield. You're doing something wrong. You're going to need it. For nova bullets you're gonna need it for beams that you can't dodge out of the way of goes on to every single one of my builds yeah i think that's it for s tier a tier weapons still really good as cooldown and the clip that you get you're still getting bang for your buck and there's no bigger bang for the buck than the hammer eclipse this is very commonly paired with the viper eclipse this one is also a curved weapon the real strength of this is that normal hammer sends out like a like almost like a, a small grouping of bullets a uh, hammer eclipse sending out a full line of bullets clip of three compared to the hammers of two you're gonna be looking at a six second reload time it's gonna take you more than six seconds to use this weapon you're getting bang for your buck uh, and again pairs with one of the s tier weapons a tier what else we got in a tier nova nade and a tier all the grenades, hugely dependent on the build that you're running them in. Um, but Novanade, it's got a hefty cooldown itself of six seconds, which considering that it's only one bullet that's coming out, that's a big cooldown. But the real thing here is you can throw this thing right into your opponent's face. They're going to take 30 damage just due to the hitbox. You know, I've had so many instances where someone's sticking their hand out, hits the hand, boom, that's an immediate 30 damage. It's definitely one of those uh, grenades that can go on to a lot of different builds uh, and still do work. All right, what else in A tier? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and put the Avalanche Nade up in A tier. Um, So Avalanche Nade is a modified version of the Hammer Nade. Basically, when the bullets collide, they create these little beam cages. One shield and your Hammer Nade's kind of wrecked. Uh, and that also goes for the Nova Nade as well, given. Avalanche Nade, if it hits a shield, it's still going to go ahead and create those little beam cages. You're still going to get basically a, 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 a little bit of a zap area. I don't use the Hammer Nade because it's so easily countered by shields. I'm going to use this instead and try to get some zoning in. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, Nova's going into A tier. For for new players? Oh, dude, you got to go with Nova. Um, And it's not an offensive weapon. It's a defensive weapon. You're talking slow bullets. You're talking a six-second cooldown. You're talking a clip of three. Big, chonky bullets, though. 30 damage. Same damage as a sniper bullet. It's going to have a, a lot of collision help. You can shoot through your own bullets, but your opponent can't. And this is going to counter a lot of viper shots it, it is easily countered by a shield the easiest way of not being countered by a shield is don't throw all of your bullets out at once it's going in a tier that might change as i go ahead and put other stuff uh, into here uh you know what this one let's go ahead and look up its name this is a hurricane but this is a hurricane nade that doesn't make any sense resolution games please this is the the first one in a line of lobbing weapons significantly slower than your uh other bullets and they'll go into an arcing pattern which means that you can shoot them up and wait for them to reach your opponent's side of the screen this one has a four second cooldown has five bullets in the chamber each one of those bullets doing 10 damage but that's not the strength the strength is being able to shoot up every four seconds by the time the bullets reach the opponent's side of the field you're actually going to have this reloaded ready to go again overall this is a very effective weapon i see this in a lot of builds as well uh five out of seven good good weapon we're going to put one more in the a tier and this is going to be a controversial choice but base lance the lance weapons you're throwing up beams that go across 
to your opponent's side this one is operating on a four second cooldown and gets a uh, ammunition of two it's just good for zoning out your opponent really the strength comes in the short cooldown you want to be able to get the zoning power of the lance but not buy a fucking engagement ring for it this is definitely the way to go good on a lot of builds uh, any build that re uh, requires zoning um i think that's i think that's it for for a tier so now we're in b tier and obviously b is for bunker got an eight second cooldown big old shield uh you can put it in one of the four corners it's got a lot of health your opponent is going to spend more than eight seconds taking this down they do end up using their weapons like for example maybe they're running the hammer and the hammer eclipse they want to waste a six second cooldown on an eight second shield they've just lost that weapon and you can go ahead and put up another bunker uh, which is honestly what i see a lot happen to me doesn't get up into a tier i still feel like it's not nearly as versatile as this shield so what else is going into b tier we're gonna put the normal base pistol pistol two second cooldown we've got a clip of five and each one of those bullets is doing 10 damage this is a great weapon for taking down your opponent's bullets collision damage on these bullets is actually really high the helix used to be a really dominant force but you could take those bullets down with the pistol the downside to this weapon there's nothing special going on here there's no curvature happening with these bullets your opponent's gonna have an easy time getting out of the way of this now we're gonna talk about two weapons i honestly consider to be the same but we're gonna put the wildcat and the vector both into b tier let's talk about the wildcat first you got a clip of 10 fair Really fast bullet speed bullets are real small this is a spray and pray weapon really when you're using this weapon you're just kind of going all over and hoping to catch your opponent with one of those bullets really good against opponents with really low health there are better weapons for dishing out damage and that's kind of why i put the vector into the same category you're getting a lower clip more damage per shot the big thing with this one is that it reflects off of different parts of the arena one of the very common strategies i see is shooting just straight at your opponent at an angle those bullets are going to come back and and hit your opponent from behind i still think it's real hard to hit your opponent with this weapon this weapon makes a lot of fucking noise when it bounces it makes a lot of fucking noise you can use that noise to figure out where the bullets are behind you and get out of the way of them there's a lot of potential to use this weapon oh and also it has the same cooldown as the wildcat too i don't really see a use for this kind of like i don't really see a use for the wildcat speaking of weapons that are good but don't really have a place in the meta the hammer three second cooldown fires out two shots compared to the hammer eclipse it's not getting nearly as much spread still doing quite a bit of damage i don't see this a lot i see this a lot more but there are a lot of situations where you want to use this this eats up nova bullets can also take down the bunker shield pretty fast most of the time because of the focus nature of the bullet spread uh your opponent's just gonna get out of the way lance nade i'm also gonna go ahead and put into b tier actually is the same cooldown as the normal lance really the strength of this weapon is being able to throw it into different positions it's not nearly as reliable as a zoning tool but it is a very versatile zoning tool it really is the fact that it got a four second cooldown that makes this in b tier if you're just looking for a lance this is not a suitable replacement what i'll commonly do is i'll treat it like a normal lance that's getting a much higher angle of attack and then go ahead and try to get him with some other grenades and yeah you know what the normal hammer name. this boy does a lot of damage big spread bigger than the hammer eclipse but it's also six second cooldown and just like the nova nade it gets pretty easily countered by shields if you're close to your opponent or if they go to reach out to counter the nade you can nearly one hit somebody if you're not throwing it close it's just going to kind of spread over your opponent again that six second cooldown is really killing this weapon we're talking a four second and four second cooldown on these two we're talking a six second cooldown on the nova but it's all in one bullet this is b minus maybe even a c tier all right and c tier let's finally talk about the quicksilver some of you may know this as the tether as long as you're holding on to the tether all non-eclipse weapons will get their speed boosted it's a five second cooldown which probably going to be running this with the two second raptor the three second hammer the four second hurricane you're not really gonna have a lot of issues with cooldown but you're losing a whole weapon slot that you could use for something else that weapon slot could be filled with another shield could be filled with snowball heck you could even throw a grenade in there it isn't really worth the weapon slot it takes up uh, also sitting in c tier you might notice that all the other eclipse weapons are sitting above c tier it's just very very hard to use it has a much uh, higher rate of curve i'll run this and the normal raptor i'll move 
slightly to the direction that I feel like my opponent is going to be dodging in. And each one of these bullets is doing 10 damage, you know? Three bullets hits, that's the same as a Viper bullet. I don't see a lot of use on normal builds. It's got a low cooldown sitting at three seconds. If it's a three second cooldown weapon and you're not hitting any of the five hits that you get, is it really worth it? I also feel like I need to go back. Normal Viper is probably going to go into A tier. It's a very skill-based weapon, just like the Viper Eclipse. But really, at the end of the day, any weapon that does 30 damage at once is very powerful in the current meta. Three of these bullets and you're nearly dead. Even if you don't have the curve, you're still going to get a lot of value out of this weapon sitting at a five second cooldown. In a lot of zoning builds, it's just as powerful on a shorter cooldown. This is the Majestic Nade. It's also going to sit at C tier. It actually is a really, really good weapon. It's sitting at a three second cooldown, which is lower than all the other grenades. Sends out uh, basically like a little short term uh, uh, beam cage. Is great for getting through shields. Great for zoning your opponent. It's the hardest grenade to use by far. If you whiff this one, it ain't doing anything for you. And even if you don't completely whiff, it's still going to be pretty much useless. Great when it works, just very rarely works. The number of times I've hit this, shockingly low. It's gonna go in C tier. We're gonna go and I don't know what the name of this is. It's the mini shield, all right? A lot of people are, pro are probably gonna put this higher up. It's only got a two second cooldown. It's great for when you're trying to throw it out to eat up a line of Nova bullets. As for practical defense, I would go with this shield anytime, anytime. And it's kind of the same thing as a Quicksilver. Would you rather have the one weapon slot for a two second shield that's kind of cheap? Or, you know, go for a four second and get a much stronger shield that you can use in many more situations. That's why it's going to go into C tier. In D tier, we're going to put the Snowball Viper. We love you, Snowball Viper. It's great that you're in the game. You're an amazing meme weapon. You've got no practical use. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You do zero damage. And yeah, sure, you eat up Nova bullets, but you have a five second cooldown. That's way too much. Yeah, it's going to go solidly into D tier for me. We're going to talk about these two together. We've got the Majestic and the Majestic. It's going to be the Majestic Elite. This one's going to go into C tier. Got a six second cooldown, throws out two beam cages on paper a great concept they're basically nova bullets that don't have any collision even on the builds that i have that are strictly zoning i honestly think that the lances do a much better job of zoning people and they do more damage the strength of this one is that it has clip size of two which means that you could put one on one side of the stage the other on the other side of the stage zone off most of where your opponent can stand and on that note the majestic elite is gonna go into D tier. This one is going to have an even larger cooldown of 10 seconds, only shoot out one, but a much bigger beam cage that does a lot of damage. It's a decent zoning tool. There are just better zoning tools. Anytime you have a weapon with a 10 second cooldown, you really need to be getting a ton of value. And I just don't see the value from this weapon. Uh, so unless you're somehow trapping somebody inside this ultra majestic, you're really not gonna be doing too much damage here. Yeah, we're gonna put Lance Elite. We're gonna put that into the C tier. So this is another 10 second cooldown weapon. It's got a faster rate of fire. It's gonna do more damage as one extra beam. The faster rate of fire means that you're gonna want to fire all three of these beams off at once, but then you're gonna be sitting on a 10 second cooldown. And that's a lot. Most of the time when I see this weapon get thrown out, they'll try to zone. Your opponent will find the one nook where they can hide in. By the time that you actually get other weapons to combo with this one, it just kind of leaves. So that one's going to go into C tier. And I think that that makes this an easy choice. The Nova Hurricane is going to go at the very end of B tier. It's another lobbing weapon. Uh, the, it's going to have a longer cooldown, I believe seven seconds. And it's only going to have a, a clip size of three, but each one of the bullets is going to be doing 20 damage. The reason I put this not in C tier is because the lobbing weapons are actually pretty powerful as far as being able to uh, have a higher cooldown. But it also is more easily taken out because there's only three bullets with one shield. Actually paired with the Quicksilver, this becomes a very deadly weapon. Um, because each one of those bullets is going to be much faster when you fire them directly at your opponent. You'll be doing 20 damage with each bullet. And you have the versatility of, hey, if your Quicksilver is off cooldown, you can just shoot those up into the air and buy yourself some time. Um, and with that, I'm going to go ahead and put the, the Nova Helix into C tier at the very bottom of C tier. This is like one step above D tier. Pre-nerf uh, definitely would have been up into A, possibly even S tier. It's really not worth running on a lot of builds now the bullets are also very slow and really don't do that much damage even though it is much harder to dodge than possibly anything else on this list that doesn't mean it's good so 
this is my tier list. If you think I have gotten anything wrong, you can go ahead and write a complaint on uh, A4 paper, crumple it up, and throw it into your closest garbage can. Uh, but no, seriously, do leave a comment down below if you think I missed anything. I think there's probably, there probably could be at least one more iteration. Well, I've been Dr. Oolong, and just remember, a doctor a day keeps the assholes away, and I will see you all later.